We rolling? Yep. All right, good. Welcome, my fellow Cerulians. So we are in lockdown. Obviously, I can't even be doing any food reviews, unfortunately. Had to improvise. Let's make some spaghetti carbonara. Now, this ain't going to be the authentic type because we're going to add some cream in it as well. The missus wants it to be creamy, so it's going to be creamy. So what we've got here, got the double cream, two eggs, spaghetti. Normally you'd use uh, pancetta, beggars can't be choosers. We're using lardon, grated mozzarella cheese. Usually you would use pecorino cheese. I'm going to add some parsley, some paprika, salt and pepper. The first thing I'm going to do is boil the water because I don't like waiting around for the water to come to a boil. So boiling water, pour it straight in. So I'm going to add a bit of salt. While we're waiting for the water to come to a boil, I'm actually going to heat some oil. You don't need too much, just a little bit because the bacon, it has that, obviously that pork fat. So we, you know, we want that to kind of render and all that juiciness will come out from the pork. So we don't actually need that much oil. I'm just gonna put a little bit, just a splash. And in case you're wondering, it's, uh, it's vegetable oil. See how the, the water's um, boiling? Perfect, that's what we want. Right, I've got 200 grams of spaghetti. Funny fact here, when I was young, when my mom used to make us spaghetti, she used to always break it in half. And I used to think that was the normal way of cooking spaghetti. Can you imagine? It was only when I watched the movie and I saw them do that, I was like, raw, light bulb moment. That's how you cook spaghetti. You wanna make sure that you hold it and just wait for it to soften. Cause if you leave it on the sides like this, what could actually happen is the spaghetti can burn against the, the heat of the pot. All right, there we go. While that's bubbling away, I'm just gonna make the, um, the egg mixture. Hundred grams of cheese, whisk it together. It probably would have been a good idea if I had whisked the egg first, then added the cream, black pepper. I mean, you can use as much as you like. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt, not too much, because of course the pork is gonna have a lot of that savory flavor. So we don't need we don't need too much salt in the actual mix itself. Now we can deal with the garlic which is gonna be cooked with the pancetta. Obviously I'm dealing with a small kitchen here, so it's kind of mad trying to navigate this thing. Just chop the garlic. In those the garlic. Doesn't seem like the pan's that hot. So I'm, well, actually no, it's fine. Cause we don't want to burn the garlic. Do you think I could have, that one's a bit fat, could have chopped it a little bit more. So I want to cook this to the point where the, the bacon starts to brown and shrivel up. You don't, you don't want to start adding the pasta prematurely because that's going to be a big, big fail. Right, I think we're ready to add the spaghetti. Now the reason why I'm taking it straight from the the pot rather than straining it is that the moisture from it just coming straight out of the pot is what's going to help because you don't want to dry spaghetti do ya nah we don't just stir it in like so actually i'm going to use the tongs because i feel like it's does a better job the final bit, the cream sauce, cream sauce. Oh, nearly forgot the parsley and the paprika. So we only need a pinch. I mean, you don't have to put paprika if you don't want to, it's optional, um, but I like paprika. A bit of parsley as well. We don't want to cook it too much because what we really don't want to happen is for the egg to curdle. And well, not curdle, but scramble. You know how scrambled egg is. I think we're good. 
beautiful cabanara. This is a very, very moist spaghetti cabanara. Bon appetit.